we've drawn and shaded our three pairs and now we come to adding the shadow uh, around the pairs you can see in our reference photo where the pair sits on the table there's a very definite shadow now i used a plastic eraser and it has left a mark underneath this pair so i really recommend putty rubber instead it also left a mark in the middle of my pair so just coming back to my reference photo and i'm looking at where the shadows are under the pair and also behind the pairs so I'm using a 2B pencil and I'm going to lightly mark in just roughly where my shadows are and I refer to my reference photo or the still life as I go along. I'm going to come back to my shadows and I'm going to start adding some more pencil. I'm using a scrap piece of paper to protect my drawing. So keep an eye on where it's dark in your shadows as well. It won't be all one color. So just make sure you darken in some areas. Keep an eye on your reference photo. Use a blending stump or a cotton bud to blend the pencil into the page. I'm just going to blend with my finger, but I'm going to use a putty rubber this time to take everything off because as I say, the putty rubber originally marked the center of my pair, the middle pair. I couldn't get the pencil off. I'm just tidying up uh, these areas here. Moving on to the next pair and I'm just moving around the page step by step and I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did with the first pair. This video has been speeded up so at any time you can pause it if it's going too fast.
Now come to my final pair and the shadow is falling to the left here. And I'm using my 4B pencil for the shading and then I'm coming back in with the 6B for the darker shading. And that's my pair drawing finished. Don't forget to sign it and it's all done.